Hey everybody, Mazer here, and we have a new tutorial for you. A while ago, I reviewed something called the Ripsaw Razor HD. It is a capture card that promises zero latency from the console to the computer, which means you don't need to plug this into the TV to get accurate game inputs. This is zero latency, and it works beautifully. Oh my god, I love this. But some people have been asking me how they can get their older systems to stream on this and today's tutorial is going to explain how using the ps3 the ps2 the dreamcast and the console i know everybody owns a cdi when streaming one of these older platforms the first thing you want to do is get one of these this is an rca to hdmi upscaler it goes to 720 or 1080p uh, they're pretty cheap. I think this was under $20 at Best Buy. Don't quote me on that. It's by Insignia, a great company. And what you do is you plug it into an outlet, plug the RCA in here, the HDMI output there, HDMI goes to the Razer, and then you'll be streaming retro games. Or will you? Okay, so here's the biggest thing I've learned since doing this workaround is the Razer and OBS are very temperamental whenever you use one of these converters. So we're going to go step by step to show you the uh, proper way to set all this up so you don't have any problems like I did when I first started. Alright, first on the list is the Philips CDI. I know you're all excited to see how this console works. So what you got to just do is get your RCA cables, which I have right here, and plug them to the appropriate color, yellow, red, white, simple as that. Then you get the HDMI that's connected to the razor right here, and you plug it in to this side, boom, simple as that. Now we're going to turn on the power. Click, click. The little light is blinking. That means it's working. But if you go towards our computer, you'll notice we have no picture in OBS. Why is that? Well, like I said, the razor is very temperamental with this. And I'll show you how to fix this problem right now. So with everything plugged in, the first thing you want to do is disconnect Oh, uh, the razor from your computer and then disconnect the HDMI wait a few seconds plug in HDMI first and plug in the razor you can hear my computer is like yay we like the razor let's take a back, look back at the screen Now we still have a blank screen, but we can fix that really easily. It's going to say in the corner, your capture resolution is at 0 by 0 at 0 FPS. That is normal. Go to your video capture device, go to properties, deactivate, then reactivate, and now it's working flawlessly. It's just that simple. And we're going to do this for all the consoles, just so you can see how each one reacts to OBS. Alright, next is our little Dreamcast. We got the cables right here. Let's see here. Yellow, white, red, all plugged in. Turn the Dreamcast on. And luckily, we didn't have to do the disable trick. Boot it up instantly. Isn't that lovely? Ask me to set the date, which I cannot do because I lost my controllers. Let's try the PS2 next. Alright, we got our PS2 plugged in. Same as before. Hello. Red. White. Turn on our PS2. And just like magic, without the deactivation trick, 
We got the PS2 up and running. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Now let's try the PS3. Now, when it comes to the PlayStation 3, you're saying, Hey, Mazer, we have HDMI in the PS3. Why bother with RCA cables? Well, the HDMI on the PS3 has a lockout on it that won't allow you to record any signals on the PS3. So if you hooked up the HDMI from the PS3 straight to the Razer, it'll be a black screen. If you use a switcher like I tried, black screen. You're going to have to use component or comp uh, RCA cables, which is a real pain because, you know, lowers the resolution a lot, but it's the best way around it. So... I got my PlayStation 3 RCA cables right here. Yellow, red, white. Now, if you played your PS3 recently with HDMI or component, uh, you may still get a black screen because it's trying to do those video signals. So what you gotta do is hold down the power button until it beeps. Once it does, it'll go to the default setting, whatever's connected to it, which is the RCA. I already did that ahead of time. So if we just hit the power button right here, and then swing on back to the computer, there you go. We got our PS3 up and running. And once again, to demonstrate the zero latency I got my uh, PS4 controller hooked up to my PS3 using the Bluetooth. We'll see everything in real time. Press. Press. Zero latency, no matter what the console. Isn't that wonderful? Fantastic product. I can't, like, talk any more highly of this Ripsaw Razor capture card. This is this is absolutely fantastic. So there you go. Uh, just for recap, you get yourself an RCA converter, and if the Razor does not recognize it at first, turn off OBS, disconnect the power, HDMI, and plug it in HDMI, power, and then turn OBS back on, and it should connect right away. And if you have any issues, just make sure you go to Properties and Deactivate, Reactivate. It should connect right away. Now, if either one of those tricks don't work, just delete the capture card uh, from your video capture devices uh, in OBS, which is this window right here, and basically add a new car, you know, add a new device, click the razor, and just set it up as usual, and you'll get it working. Look at split. There you go. So there we have it, everybody. We have the CDI, the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 2, and the PlayStation 3 all working with the Razer capture card thanks to the Insignia RCA to HDMI upscaler slash converter. So that's pretty cool. So thank you for joining me today. I am Mazer, and we'll see you guys next time.